What's up everybody? Welcome to the channel Game of Thrones Season 5 Episode 9 Did you have to count that out before you put it I there? I <laughs> don't like episode 9s No man, I'm scared Episode 9s have historically proven to be scary And all I could get my And all And all I've got in my head is this king of the ice people walkers going i know like the undertaker or something bringing them up from the dead it's like and all these dead folks that they friggin brutalized and absolutely massacred just eyes flipping let's go attack yep, yep. i don't i don't even know what else is going on there's so much Terrifying. going on although i need some of those contacts man those are dope af there is so much going on in this show We've got a potential battle, little mini war between Stannis and the Boltons. Stannis going to try and take over Winterfell? It's like they're... Does he make it? They're going to march into it and friggin' Ramsay's like, oh, just give me 20 good men. We'll just go out there and take it. Like, what? But he is a psycho. You little crazy person. Like, you're just going to take 20 dudes out in that snow and fight a, an army of people just because you think you handle the cold better? I don't know. Those Dreadfort folks are just, uh, uh, yeah, they're nuts. Crazy. We got a shot of Arya in action, running through some little market area and selling her oysters, telling her little lie, and she's been given a mission and it looks like a little bottle of something poison. to go kill poison. somebody. Some poison. She's gonna go assassinate some folks. Mm -hmm. That's pretty crazy. The girl is gonna go assassinate. The girl, some folks. yes, the girl. Yes, she is not girl. Arya. She's not Arya anymore. No, she's it's the girl. The, the whole situation with Theon and Sansa is just heartbreaking and just upsetting. But I'm so happy he finally told her. I don't know if it's going to benefit anybody. I'm like, at what cost, but though? But I'm just happy that she understands now that her brothers aren't dead. She's not like the it was, last I mean, Stark. I she was kind of shocked about it. So I'm, you know, it puts her mind a little bit at ease. But also, like, fuck you, Theon. Yeah, like, why... I'm just happy that that happened. And Daenerys has basically hired Tyrion to be her advisor, I which is kind of dope. I want to see how this one um, like, pans out. That whole that whole little conversation that they had last episode was absolutely fantastic. I was a big fan of them interacting. It's like the odd couple. It's it's great. The whole last episode, I I was kind of speechless, well, I feel yeah. like. I mean, that battle was just absolutely insanity. And it's like, wait, what happened? I don't remember. My, yeah, our brains were literally fried. My head hurt because I think I had my mouth open the whole time. Just like, oh my God. Yeah. Like my brain was flexing. <laughs> and it was just like, it was like a 20 minute, 30 minute straight flex of just like shock and awe. It was crazy. Mm -hmm. But here we are. Episode 9, you ready to jump into it and see where this goes? Yes. Let's go! By the way, can we start saying that winter is here? I yet? don't know. I don't think it's official. I don't know. We saw them kind of destroy a bunch of people. Yeah, so maybe winter is here. You think they'll announce it? Winter has come. I mean, they say winter is coming enough. Right. Oh shit, girlfriend. Oh my god. Is that Ramsey? I feel like. Oh shit, it's coming from everywhere. Can we save the horses, please? Save all the horses. Oh no, what shit. the fuck? Come on! Why? Why? Why did the horse have to be on fire? About a 20 men. Maybe less. Burnt our food stores to the ground. All our siege weapons destroyed. Damn, Ramsey. Dozens of tents were at horses. We're still getting a count, but hundreds are dead. Put last night's guards in chains. Either they fell asleep or they conspired with the enemy. Find out the truth and then hang them. Oh. We can't march forward and we won't march back. Oh, shit. Is he going to... Do what she said and sacrifice his daughter? Is that the option? What the fuck? They can't march forward and they can't go back. Oh, God, no, I don't want that to be even a possibility right now. 
Oh, John, thank God. John Snow! Back at the wall. Oh, the giant made it! <laughs> Good. Whew. Now what's gonna happen with all the wildlings, though? This is terrifying. How There's does... children in there. What are you gonna do, dude? You better fucking let them in. I'm gonna be real mad. Open the gates. Kay. All right. Let's see if the wildlings act proper. I, but I feel it's like, a failure. I don't know. It wasn't. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this. Oh my god, it's a real fucking giant! He's fucking amazing. <laughs> I mean, you know, they didn't really get to see, like, full on last time. Oh no. He is not happy. You have a good heart, John Snow. It'll get us all killed. Thanks for the positive reinforcement. Yep. Appreciate it. Good talk. Cool story, bro. Find some healthy horses and a few knights to guard you. I'm sending you back to Castle Black. Tell the Lord Commander his king commands him to send food, supplies, fresh horses. The boy with the scroll could deliver this message. And if Jon Snow refuses the boy with the scroll, what does the boy say? Don't come back empty-handed. Shit. My family stays with me. Well, at least let me take Cherie. The siege is no place for a little girl. My family stays with me. Because he doesn't want you to see what he's gonna do to his daughter while you're gone. Damn it. I made you something, Princess. Aww, that's so sweet. Do you like it? He's beautiful. Will you make me a dough, too? So that he can have company? Of course I will. This is my own poor way of saying thank you for teaching me to be a grown up. Aww. I'll be gone for a few days, Princess. I want to hear all about the Dance of Dragons when I'm back. You will read it yourself. Prince Tristan. How's your jaw? The flea bite. What are you doing in Dawn? <laughs> Looking after the safety of my niece, the Princess Marcella. You received a threatening message. The Princess's necklace in the jaws of a viper. That necklace was stolen from my room. Mmm, -hmm, bitch. Mmm. -hmm. Let us drink to Tommen, the first of his name, king of the Andals, and the first men, lord of the seven kingdoms. Okay. She's pouring some out for her homies. Mm -hmm. Yep. May I inquire as to the fate of my man, Bronn? Prince Tristan must learn judgment if he's to rule one day. I'll let him decide. I'll set your man free. You're a good man. On one condition. Chop what? off his hand. <laughs> oh, was that it? Perhaps some soup instead. Oh, shit. <laughs> Just smack him back. Yep. Sorry. Eye for an eye. I was but like getting punched. That's punch good. Mike Tyson. Yeah. That's good punishment. That's fair. What? Can't see. Oh. It's our Marin friend. Does he, does he recognize her? I feel like Sound he does. I like it. This is the place, lads. The sleekest little mix and brothers. Sell your fish somewhere else. I'm never in Brosco. I'm hungry. Too old. Oh, gross. Too old. <sighs> it's fresh. Nothing better for your cock stand than fresh oysters. I'll have one. Come get this girl in. Shoot, shoot. Good. Sick fucker. Sick, you're so disgusting. I don't like that. I hope Arya fucking kills him right now. The 
queen would be thrilled to know you're bringing her daughter home. You love her very much, don't you? Of course. She's my niece. I wasn't talking about her. You think I disapprove? Why? A hundred years ago, no one would have blinked an eye at you. If you've been named Targaryen, it's always changing who we're supposed to love and who we're not. The only thing that stays the same is that we want who we want. She was being too nice. I know your daughter had no part in the terrible thing that happened to the man I love. Perhaps even you are innocent of that. Very weird. Mm-hmm. What are you reading? The Dance of Dragons. It's the story of the fight between Rhaenyra Targaryen and her half brother Egon for control of the Seven Kingdoms. When people started declaring for one of them or the other, their fight divided the kingdoms in two. Brothers fought brothers. Dragons fought dragons. Thousands were dead. And it was a disaster for the Targaryens as well. They never truly recovered. I think it's poetic. She's so cute. She's so smart. And he's gonna freaking sacrifice her. I wouldn't have chosen either. Still, the choosing sides that made everything so horrible. Sometimes a person has to choose. Sometimes the world forces his hand. You don't even know what I'm talking about. It doesn't matter. I want to help you. Mm. Don't say that, girl. She's so sweet. I'm the Princess Shireen of House Baratheon. And I'm your daughter. Baby. Please don't do this to her. Forgive me. Sweet baby. She's like, what's going on? What's the matter? Are you for real? You've got to be kidding me. Where's my father? I want to see my father. It will all be over soon, princess. No! Are you kidding me? Where's my father? Are you fucking serious? We had to take a little pause. Yeah. Compose myself. Having daughters and being a father, that shit made me angry. Stannis can like die. Like. That made me like, I thought a situation like that would actually like make me sad and upset and actually maybe bring me to tears, but I'm fucking mad. That like, like that they would even show this on a TV show. I mean, they show <laughs> they showed Ramsey raping Sansa. Like, I mean, this shit is straight savage. Like the fact that like a father would just 
tie his daughter to a friggin' post and just burn her to death. All for the greater good of this war that he's probably going to lose. For some word of light. <sighs> that shit made me mad. Alright. Let's see if we could refocus. Where have you been? Just making sure everything is in order. I don't like that answer. Another very gladiator-esque scene here. I've spent much of my life in this arena, and in my experience, larger men do triumph over smaller men, far more often than not. Have you ever tried to kill another man who was trying to kill you? Shit. Get the money up faster. The pile of angry muscles never had any muscles here. Or no. here. Oh shit! Oh my god! He's back. Your grace, shut your mouth. Oh, he's got his own little needle. How mm. cute. Oh, God. Oh, no. <gasps> oh. 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 Hey, that was... That was Achilles' move. Yeah. <gasps> oh, my... Good armor on. Oh, shit. Oh, oh, what the fuck? Oh, oh fuck. shit. That's what he was fucking doing. That his dark guy. What the fuck? Oh, my God. They're just like killing everyone. Oh my god! Oh my oh, god! Shit. So much for the traditions. Oh my. Ending the killing. Oh my god. Literally, she's gonna have no one to rule. Everyone is gonna die right now. Oh shit. Oh no, 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 no. Good job, Tyrion. Damn. Holy shit. This whole fucking thing was a giant trap. Oh my god. Is she gonna call for Drogon? Oh my god! Yes! <laughs> Holy shit. I just got chills. Well, so did I. Oh my god. Literally, as I'm thinking, where is the dragon? Drogon, oh my god. Burn all these motherfuckers down. Let's go. Oh my god. That is, that is so dope. Oh shit. He's hungry and now he's gonna eat real good. Oh shit. Yes. Burn them down. Burn them. Burn them. Burn them all. Burn them. Oh em. shit. <gasps> no. Are you fucking serious? Like, ow, mom, that hurt. Oh, babe. <laughs> Are no. you fucking serious? Oh my god, I can't handle this. Are you 
kidding? Is she gonna fly away? Can we go get his brothers and bring them back? What the fuck are they all gonna do now? I think they're just in awe at the moment. Like, what? Oh my god. This show is absolutely insanity. Seriously. That was a lot. That was a lot. Seriously. I mean... Where is she going? Is she gonna go get her brothers? I, I'm go sure. Go get her other babies? I'm sure the other kids... Sorry. I'm, I'm sure the other dragons are gonna... She's gonna go get them and release them. Burn all of Marine down to the fucking ground? Well, I mean, is there anybody fucking left between the Sons of Har... Uh, besides the Sons of Harpy? Or... Burn that shit all the way down to the ground. All of it. It's a lost cause. No, I, I mean, I don't... I don't know if it's a lost cause. I mean, she needs to have some successes. But... Maybe people are making it real fucking hard for her to have any successes. Maybe destroying Marine is a success. At this point. What do y'all think? Am I am I too uh What is what You're is, too what's, her, what's her dad cut called? Cutthroat. What's her dad's name? Aegon? No. What was his name? The Mad King. Aegon. No, I'm asking what his nickname was. Oh, the Mad King. Yes. Oh. <laughs> Am I am I too much of the Mad King in my desire to want to destroy this city? I I mean, all of her efforts have fallen. Like, even when she reopened the fighting pits, like whatever. And everybody his name was is. cheering and stuff. Yeah. Like the they're bringing the traditions happy. back didn't do damn thing. Nope, they're not happy with any of it. You can't please them all. No, and I mean it's a really terrible thing, but they're massacring people. They are going out of their ways to kill as many people as they possibly can. And they almost killed Drogon. I don't know if he was almost in trouble, but... I mean... I don't know how many spears a dragon could, could take and survive and continue to live on and be good. There was a hole in his wing, Yeah, too. well, he might have been having some fun while he was out on the town. No, I think they heard him. I just... You know what it reminds me of? That poor dragon in Harry Potter. Oh, that was That was up. underneath... What was that place called? The bank. With all I'm drawing the, a blank on it right now. Yeah, with um, all the dwarves. The white dragon. That green they, gods? Yeah. Green gods. Yeah, that that's exactly what... It's it, awful. Just, I just wanted to go release his two brothers so that they could go unleash... An absolute hell on earth on this terrible, terrible place of a city. But I think they're still mad at Daenerys. Who? <laughs> um, well, they could go take their anger out on some Marineans or whatever they call themselves. The, yeah, Marineans. Marineans. M Marines. I don't know. Maybe I am too hardcore and mean, but San Diegans. <laughs> <laughs> San Diegoans. <laughs> go. No, never mind. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I mean, I don't know it, it nothing she does is is working, and they continue to revolt and show that they don't want her leadership or any of her ruling in their city, so I don't know, I would just bounce um go practice ruling somewhere else, maybe, or maybe Tyrion could give maybe now that she has Tyrion, she doesn't have to actually have a track record of being successful because he has a track record of being successful. Yeah, I don't know, man. I just, but, I, I would like to, to thank Rainy. Thank you so much. <laughs> they've come in handy the last couple nights. Oh my God. <laughs> Fucking Stannis, dude. That was, that was so awful and unforgivable and just the idea of like, even putting my hands on my children it makes me so mad and angry. Like, 
How do you tie your daughter to a friggin' post? And... Well, he he didn't even have the 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 gall to like do it himself. He he had to have his men do it. And it's just like, what that, is that what was, is it? That was absolutely awful. What is like? Is it really worth it? Everything that he has just sacrificed is it really worth the it? The throne is worth more to him than his own child. Absolutely because insane. Because Melisandre has brainwashed him so much. Maybe that's why people were laughing at us that you called him a good father. Oh, is that what people were laughing because they called him a good Maybe, dad? Yeah. Oh. So much well, for that. my bad. No father of the year medal for Stannis Baratheon. Worst father ever. I mean, yeah. That, again, like I kind of mentioned earlier, that, that didn't even bring out sad emotion. That made me angry that I wanted to jump through my TV and rip his head off. That, that just, that, yeah, that was not cool. That was... That might have been one of the worst things I've ever seen on any kind of TV show or a movie. Oh, like, no. one of them. I'm sure there I mean, was other up, parts yeah, in I mean, here. I mean, there's obviously other movies based off of true events that is worse. This is still a fictional TV show. But still, that made me very emotional in a way that I did not expect. No, I was all in. All into that. And uh, I guess the other big story out of this episode was Jon Snow... Uh, making his way back to the wall with the wildlings and and uh, Sir Alistair's yeah, you're, you have a good heart, but it's, it's gonna, gonna kill get us. us all killed. Yep. That again, I don't know if that's some kind of foreshadow or if it's just like a hint and little Ollie again in the background just staring and being and, isolated and showing his disapproval via. Facial expressions. Yeah. I don't know. That kid is... I think he's going to do something bad. I don't trust him. He doesn't like what's going on. And I don't know... Again, I don't know what kind of mindset I would be if my entire village was destroyed and I saw my parents get killed and by the people that are walking, walking through, through the place that I now kind of lived in. Um, yeah, I, I couldn't put myself in his shoes. I would probably do something crazy. But again, I, I'm expect like I think he's gonna do something that we're not gonna like yeah. at some point. I That's, have a feeling as well. Because they keep like every time one of those scenes happens, the camera goes and focuses on him. Like that's but, not an accident. It. But are they just trying to distract us? That's also very possible. Or they're just or we're punching you in the face. We're saying, overthinking it. Or they're punching you in the face, saying, "Hey, pay attention to this kid because he's a player. He's someone that's gonna make an impact." Got it. Um, it could be multiple things, but I, I, that's kind of what where my brain's going. Again, I am easily tricked. <laughs> I could be swerved very easily. Gullible. Um, so yeah, um, I don't know. I don't have any other thoughts. Do you have anything else? I'm exhausted. These past two episodes between that White Walkers and White's War and... The children. The idea of Jon Snow dying, like... And then this episode with... The Horses on fire. Just like, yeah, it was intense. Like fucking Stannis. This shit's real. Stannis is not the manis. Okay, yeah. Stannis can go Never fuck mind. himself. I was gonna say something else. Oh, but... I mean, I could admit one thing. This show definitely brings out emotions in me that no other TV show has really ever done. So yeah, bravo to you, Game of Thrones. But look Holy how much shit. you get sucked into this. Oh yeah, you totally get sucked into it, and then you literally feel like it's really happening I wanna, in front of you. I want to get in the show and put my hands on Stannis Baratheon. I mean... I like. Do you like I the mean, way he sent Davos away because he fucking knew yeah, what he was going to do? Yeah, he knew he was going to talk him out of it. Dick. All right. Stannis the dick. That's going to do it. We have the season finale of, episode, of season 10 coming up next. No. We've got the season finale of season five coming up next, episode ten. I don't know if I'm ready for it. I know. I mean, if this was I'm not, tired. I don't. I'm tired. This show, this this last couple episodes has really worn me out. I'm gonna be honest. But all right, like, subscribe. Let us know what you thought of this episode in the comments below. Are we acting like everyone else acted when these last few episodes took place? Um, I would love to hear your thoughts. And of course, if you're new, let Nikki know. Comment if you're new. 
Oh, she loves hearing from you. I so. mean, you can comment if you're not new. Of course. But I want to hear but, from the new folks but she as likes, well. And you've never commented before. Feel Leave free. a comment. We want to hear from you too. Yeah. So, I mean, just all good things. All good things. All good things. <laughs> I didn't catch that one. You don't get what it is? No. Olaf. Oh! <laughs> how dare I? Yeah, seriously. I've only watched it a billion times. You missed times. the Frozen reference. How? What kind of? What kind of mother of daughters? Uh, what are kind you? of mother am I? Yeah, mother really, of right? daughters. You've, you've both seen that movie a billion times. Yeah. All right. Tangent that I'm sure Game of Thrones fans don't want to hear about. No. Just don't eat that yellow snow, y'all. <laughs> we'll see you guys next time for the season finale of season five. Bye.